Hello Animorphs fans and welcome back to the Animorphs Reviews YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about a video game concept. The first video of probably what's going to be a, an ongoing series just as I develop my ideas. And that's what this is all about, okay? So I was trying to get to sleep one night but my brain was like, no, you must think of this. And this was an Animorphs, a, a modern, perfect maybe not so much perfect, but an Animorphs video game. We've had video games in the past. So we've had the Shattered Reality and Know Your Secret ones, and we've had the Game Boy Color ones. And they were, for all intents and purposes, a letdown. They weren't great. It didn't help that they were on old technology, of course, so early 2000s, very early 2000s. And they were cheap and badly made, uh, not marketed very well, and they were cash grabs, let's be honest. I don't think there could be much of an argument in any other direction. They were cash grabs, they weren't great. Uh, I've played that one. I can't even play that one because my computer's not old enough and stupid enough to... <laughs> it's like, no, I ain't touching that. That's what my computer says. That one, yeah, I've played it. It's absolute trash, okay? So, what would a decent, a good, a great Animorphs game be like? That's what this is all about, and my ideas are not set in stone. I want this to be essentially a two-way conversation, so I will come here, give an idea, and let you lot play with it, and I'll, I'll look what you say about it, see what your ideas are, and then I'll look to incorporate it. So as we go on with this video, co this concept series, then the ideas will develop and hopefully further down the line we'll have a good idea of what we would like to see in an Animals video game. And who knows, maybe somebody in some video game area will pick up some of those ideas and run with it. That's what I'd hope for, you know, I'm, I'm, I am happy to, you know, if it just inspires someone to have an idea and they basically take the idea, I, don't, I just want an Animorphs game that's decent. That's all I want. So I'm hoping in any way that doing this video series helps towards that. Because we, as Animorphs fans, need to look to the future, what we can produce, what we can make, what we can try to convince Scholastic to make. Bloody Scholastic. They're sitting on this product. They're sitting on Animorphs. They're not getting rid of it. So they obviously want to do something with it but they clearly don't know what. So let's try to give them ideas. Let's just try to fucking batter them with ideas for this stuff. Right, so, video game concept. My initial idea, and it is very, very initial, is largely first-person adventure with factions that you unlock as you go through. So I'm just going to give a couple of examples for what I think would be a decent first uh, opening part to this production. Okay, so I think that the game should open at the construction site. So we get the opening sequence of Elfangor crash landing and you've got the five kids there. And you get that whole scene where Elfangor explains what the Yerks are, what they're doing. You get all that expository stuff right at the start uh, in the most iconic scene. I don't think you need to waste time with much before that. Um, the, the atmosphere needs to be quite gloomy, quite grungy, you know, obviously 90s sort of stylings thrown in there, but with a modern twist, maybe, and decent graphics, hopefully. You don't have to go mental. We'll see a couple of examples. And I think that's how we should start off, okay? So, let's uh, yeah, let's get straight into the examples. So, what I have here is a PewDiePie playthrough of Outlast 1. Now, why have I got Outlast 1 up here? Because I really like the atmosphere that they've got going at the start of this game. Why have I chosen PewDiePie? No particular reason, I'm just on a bit of a PewDiePie binge at the moment, so I thought it was appropriate. The, you can see the use of colours, the types of graphics, this is the sort of thing I'm picturing, okay? So hopefully you can see it quite well. It's all first person. And at the start of the game, you don't have your camcorder up, which is a big part of Outlast. We're not going to have that. So concentrate largely on this outside of the mansion bit. He's now walking up to the mansion and everything's gloomy and quite grim. And this is how I picture the construction site level 
the first level to sort of look like. So that's that's that essentially. But let's let's actually carry that on through because I'll explain further. This construction site level will act as a tutorial level, much in the same way that that this one will do in just a moment. So he's going to go around, and it's going to start giving him instructions. So there to crouch, hold down left control. It gives you the prompt for the action and you carry that action to get from one part to another. I think that's what we need to do for this opening construction site scene. So the Yerks have come down, there are Hortbegir and Taxons and human controls spreading everywhere with their Dracon beams. And you get the initial part where they run away and the, the animals separate. So you've got Jake separating, Rachel separating, um, to give each other time to escape as they're being chased by a couple of Hortbegir. So, this is the sort of thing we'd have with Jake. And you're just him, because you've split off from the others, as happened in the book. And for about five or ten minutes, you just have to navigate your way out of the construction site. And it again gives you prompts like how to jump, how to crawl under something, how to hide. Because I think those, basically similar to what we have in a game like Outlast, those sorts of abilities, your basic jump, crouch, hide, sneak, maybe. Just introduce all those basic functions, those basic first person person functions that will be helpful for this particular faction for the rest of the game. I also want to point out there's something similar. This is Firewatch, which is a pretty beautiful game. And I think, I mean, the graphics aren't great, but this is the sort of thing that animals can go for. You know, as you get into, after this construction site bit, of course, so you've got the gloomy, the cat's climbing on the tripod, by the way. So if it starts shaking, it's Mercia. Mercia! <laughs> Silly cat, stop it. Yeah, just nice and colourful. They don't have to be the best graphics. Again, it's first person. Yeah, just look at these two games and, and see what I'm trying, where I'm coming from. This is the first feel that I want to get for an Animorphs game, is this first person one. So that would be the first level. Uh, the construction site. It also move into the second level, okay? So I think the start of the game will focus purely on the Animorphs and next you play as Rachel and you go into, you do the whole sneakeroo thing but this time you're in Chapman's house, you sneak around as an animal, okay? So you snuck around as a human, as Jake in the first one and then you can have the scene where Rachel goes into the Chapman's house and then you can eventually have the first big battle um, much as I think should happen in a movie, you should combine books one and two. So you get the construction site bit, you find you have maybe a couple of little cutscenes, uh, maybe a couple of expository paragraphs, and then you have Rachel sneaking around in Chapman's house, so you get another sneaking mission, but this time you get the cat eyes. So it would be like this, but the vision changes, like colours change and what have you, to match the animals, sort of like what the TV series did. It just makes it obvious that you're in a morph of something, okay? And then you'd get the battle sequence in the Earthpool, the first battle, and it will be very much like the construction site. This whole first bit will be tutorial, essentially. So you get the battle tutorial that first time in the Earthpool, Vista free changes, you escape, whew, big weight off your shoulders, okay? So that is essentially the first mission, the tutorial part of the Animals video game concept that I've got going. So it looked largely like this. And there could be a couple of bits where you're acquiring an animal as well. We've got like a little side mission in the gardens where it just teaches you how to acquire an animal. Uh, various different animals maybe. Maybe gives you a chance to explore the different characters, but I think we'll, we'll do that throughout the game. Um, again, this is all sort of ad lib. And if you like some ideas, please tell me. If you dislike some ideas, please tell me, and together we'll, all of us together, we'll just come up with these ideas, use this video series as a platform. So this is as much your series as it is mine. So what do you think of that first like, tutorial idea? I think the next video I'll talk about factions, so we'll look into, because what I want to happen next is they rescue Axe, and in doing so we unlock the Andalite faction. And that will be a separate storyline. Same, obviously, canon, but you have the opportunity to either stay with the Animorphs group and do more Animorphs-like stuff, or you can go off with Andalites and do, like, space battles. 
like Star Wars space battles. And then as you go further on, you unlock the Chi and you have the opportunity to go be a Chi for a while. Uh, the free Hawk Bajir, you can unlock them and do Hawk Bajir missions. Um, yeah, that, that's where I'm at at the moment. More ideas will come forth. Please do help me out. What do you think of that idea? Do you think I'm going along the right lines? Do you think it should be completely different? Tell me about it. Are there any other ideas for games? Like if you think, yeah, this is a great um, concept idea going forward, but let's also make a chess game and discuss that as well. Do that as well. Let's just have a big old video game Animorphs discussion. Let's talk about the future of Animorphs, where we want to be. Should this be VR? I think it should be. What do you think? Right, that's enough of me rambling. So thank you very much for watching and I shall see you next time. Get involved. Ta-ra.